All right, on to this now. Tributes still pouring in for former finance minister Tito Mboweni. Friends and comrades in some instances are still arriving at his home in Kilani. That's in Johannesburg to pay homage uh, to the former Reserve Bank governor. Also, there is SABC News reporter Samgele Maseko who joins us now live. And Samgele, I imagine we're going to be seeing much of what's taking place there until the funeral on Saturday. Indeed, and many political leaders and players are coming to the residence of the former finance minister, former minister of labor and former governor of the Reserve Bank, Mr. Tito Titus Mboweni, here at this particular residence of his in Johannesburg. But the family will be leaving on a Thursday afternoon and going to Mahabas Kloof, where he resided and where the official category two state funeral will take place. This morning, the SACP's general secretary, Solim Af Africa Mapaila is here alongside some of the Central Committee members and the leaders of the Young Communist League to the family of Tito Mboweni. Very good morning to you, Mr. Mapaila. Just the comments from the South African Communist Party and the message of condolences to the Mboweni family. Thank you very much. Um, we came here, of course, to pay tribute to Comrade Tito Mboweni and to extend our message of condolences to his family and to the comrades in the liberation movement um, because this was one of our outstanding cadres um, who resented colonialism and apartheid and decided to fight against it and as minister uh, in our first democratic uh, government under president nelson mandela he distinguished himself by uh, driving a thoroughgoing legislative uh, process uh, implemented, for instance, uh, the Employment Equity uh, uh, Act, as well as the Labor Relations uh, Act that was um, amended and quite progressive, and it also implemented affirmative action uh, uh, legislation within the framework of the working workplace. This legislation was extremely important uh, for South Africa. And I always used to tease him that uh, he shouldn't have gone back to, to he shouldn't have gone to the Reserve Bank. He should have uh, went to a different ministry, for instance, like mining, where he could have enforced that legislation uh, to empower communities uh, as a whole, rather than uh, what it has turned out to be, where, for instance, white colonialists uh, continue to rule the country, the economy, and we are reaching a situation where South Africa is recolonizing itself. Um, by the kind of political decisions that we are making. And I think um, uh, many people like him who fought against colonialism will deeply understand the point that we are raising as a Communist Party because we, are, we, are not, we should not be guided by politics of convenience uh, such that the political elites should find themselves um, living far above the people and the economy is not transforming uh, people in the villages uh, where he come from originally where I, I, I believe he'll be buried um, their lives are not improving and we can uh, find many justifications why it, it is taking too long when actually it should not be taking too long it's precisely because we have never transferred economy economic power and wealth of society to the majority we have left it in the hands of a, a, a white capitalist minority uh, that continues to dominate the political and social sphere uh, of our society. This is a critical question that must be addressed. But of course, coming here to pay tribute to Comrade Tito, uh, who is well liked by m many South Africans for his conduct, for his behavior, for his humility, that's a revolutionary. You can see even where he states. Uh, a man that has uh, uh, done so much, has succeeded so well, even in, in, in private life, in accumulation, but he, he remained a humble guy. Um, of course, um, many people will know he loved even uh, uh, his Mopani worms, uh, the, 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 the lucky starfish. I always used to say that ideologically, the only thing me and him agreed was, uh, was about the lucky starfish, because I enjoy it too. So these are the only things that uh, we, we used to have uh, 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 easy discussions with him. He was a humble comrade, good comrade, and I think uh, the movement and the people of South Africa have lost one of their best.
politically, have you had any engagement with him prior to him departing the land of the living? On the composition of the government of national unity, I know some of the conversations we'd have, he was uh, pretty much uh, resourcelessly against the ANC working with the, the Democratic Alliance and the Freedom Front Plus. Well, we, we had not discussed uh, at length. He simply said that um, if he gives me his thoughts, uh, I'll, 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 I'll create chaos. And he said, no, the best thing is that we should still find time to have our dinner at uh, Makhobas Kluf, where he was regarded as the chair of Makhobas Kluf. And uh, he said, no, come here, um, let's enjoy fish and, um, and have deeper engagement about the current uh, uh, processes. But I used to tease him that, no, you are like all other ministers, uh, particularly uh, in the finance sector. They have good ideas before they go in. Once they are in the ministry, they run away from real issues. When they are out, uh, they say something. For instance, we, we, we spoke to him about the introduction of um, the public bank the public banking system to, to break the monopoly of this capitalist bank that have, a strangle, that have a stranglehold on our economy. And when he was minister, he was reluctant to drive this thing. Mm -hmm. And the then uh, head of ANC Economics Department uh, 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 Commission, uh, Comrade Enoch, was more or less uh, receptive to this idea. Mm -hmm. And when Tito left, he started tweeting that, no, let's transform the African bank into a public bank. And the thing that he, he could not do when he was there, and the one who was now in, was is now reluctant to do the same thing. So we used to laugh about it. But the biggest issue about this transition is that uh, people like him are, are, are deeply aware about the many mistakes that we are committing as a country. Um, and they've given advices like uh, what, what, what he did in the, with regard to the banking sector, particularly when he had no uh, obligations to international capital with regard to the finances and the economy and he expressed himself about um, more especially the transformation of the banking sector but to the extent that uh, uh, when I worked with him sometime during the elections campaign we did a, 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 a joint program uh, in Limpopo where he was also uh, in Mahobas Kluf area where he was also trying to organize the white community um, in that particular area because it was committed to non-racialism and it should not be that when we criticize racism and the continued concentration of wealth of this country in uh, white minority hands uh, it shouldn't be portrayed as being racist because some of our comrades are beginning to think that way uh, to, to basically say we can't talk transformational issues and point out where the economy of this country continues to lie when the majority of people cannot afford life itself so it is in this regard that um, we need to raise these issues sharply like he did and i hope that uh, the political leadership in this country at one point they will uh, move away from these lies that they want to accept themselves that the people of this country voted for unity of parties there's no such a thing how can the people of this country vote for poverty no the people of this country want a party that can transform the economy of this country uh, bring radical changes and yet unite the people of this country they cannot uh, 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 say we, we vote for a status quo. The status quo is poverty of the majority. And this is a thing that we must attack and defeat and even uh, uh, take out this thing that the government of national unity is trying to portray to, the, to society that uh, this is the will of the people. There's no will of the people. There's no will of the people in which a party with 20% want to control 80% of government's decision and posture. Uh, 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 the reintroduction of a deeper uh, free market economic system that is capitalist system that has failed this country over decades. A poison of this nature cannot reapply it again and think that uh, the patient will be better. You are actually finishing the patient as soon as is possible. This is what this journey will do to our country. Why did you snap the ANC meeting with the officials? You were meant to have a bilateral meeting with the, South African, uh, with the ANC as a South African Communist Party. Why did you snap that meeting on Monday? You know, the problem with the media is that uh, <laughs> we wanted to pay tribute to, to Tito. We don't want to go deeper into politics, but certainly uh, we could not go to that celebration of the GNU. Not the celebration of the GNU. A letter was sent to you as the GS for the bilateral meeting, seven on seven. What happened? Okay, that letter, uh, Samken, 
was not even sent from the ANC. We requested for the meeting. We sent a letter first because I, th I think there's an impression that uh, the ANC invited us. We did not go. We wrote the, the request for a meeting uh, sometime in early in August when we realized that uh, many things were, were developing and the alliance was not able to meet the political council, but we wanted a discussion of the, uh, the bilateral discussion between us and the, and the ANC. And the ANC confirmed uh, first the meeting for the 23rd of September when the president was in the UN and we refused to, to have a meeting without the present present. That's where it started. And secondly, we agreed on this, uh, uh, the, the, the date on Monday for our bilateral. And later on, we learned that uh, the ANC was going to have a celebration of the GNU just after our meeting. And we felt that was disrespectful. Uh, that meant uh, whatever we we're going to discuss uh, didn't mean anything to the ANC. They know our position on, regarding the, gov uh, the government of national unity. And we could not go to a meeting where immediately after that, an hour after, the ANC joins the celebrations of the GNU and also we are expected to be part of as, as, uh, as members of the ANC. So on that basis, we made it very clear that we would rather not even have that bilateral that day. So there's clarity about, about that particular issue. This question of the GNU, uh, uh, we take it very serious as the SACP because of its ability to reverse the gains of our revolution, uh, the, 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 the manner in which it has reinforced whiteism, uh, the behavior of white supremacy that has been uh, engendered or uh, uh, encouraged, as you can see with the behavior largely of uh, people like Helen Zille and everything else, now even their attitude, uh, condescending attitude of interfering in the affairs of the ANC. Now the DA, for instance, is uh, 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 so much worried about uh, uh, matters in the ANC, about Panyaza Lisufi this, Panyaza Lisufi that, why why we even allow the DA to interfere in the ANC affairs? So it is this kind of things that are really worrying us. But the biggest issue is the control of the direction of our society by a minority party, a racist party that comes from colonialism, the reasons why this country is poor. So in short, you snapped the ANC on Monday, simply put? No, we rejected to be associated with the GNU processes. Will you further engage with them if they call into a bilateral meeting? No, of course, we said so. We also wrote them a new letter, a letter indicating the reason why we are not coming to that particular meeting and are recommitted to have a discussion, proper discussion. We don't want to have a, a, a small, a, a brief discussion about matters of this nature afflicting our society. I mean, it's a, almost 100 days or more than that uh, since the, the, the election, four months since the elections, and the alliance has not met. I mean, that's, that, that, that shows the lack of seriousness about uh, what we are faced with as a revolutionary movement. A revolutionary movement doesn't conduct itself this way. But during the GNU uh, period, I can tell you, some of the leaders were meeting almost every day. But today, they can't even find time to have discussions about the fate of our revolution. So in essence, you are saying that the DA is more taken seriously by the ANC Secretary General Figilem Balula, the custodian of ANC meetings, than they take you as the SACP? Not Figil and Balula, the ANC uh, takes the DA more seriously now than it does its alliance partners, and that's where uh, the problem is. Why are you giving an instruction for Bladen Zimande, for David Masondo, and for the former sec General Secretary of the Young Communist League, Bute Manamela, to resign from government as members of the Central Committee of the party? No, they don't have and to. And They don't have to resign. The 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 the, the, the wrong message that has been uh, provided in society is that. We have no communists, firstly, in the in, in government. Okay. So we those people no, are not no, communists. No, no, no. They are communist party members. They are ANC members in their own right. They've been deployed as such by ANC. We have no single one accountable to the communist party. If the ANC was to say, Comrade so and so is accountable to you, then we will withdraw that particular person. There's no one that is accountable to us. All of them are accountable to the ANC. So this matter it's a, is the lowest level of political engagement in society. It should not be entertained uh, because it's irrelevant to the current discussion. The ANC and us at uh, the Alliance have got a concept of dual membership. So we understand the authority of, uh, of, of members. If we have asked one of our comrades to go into government on the mandate of the African National Congress, that person res uh, is responsible to the African National Congress. Uh, it's the ANC that uh, uh, makes him accountable. We in the collective, 
will meet together politically to say how are our comrades in government conducting themselves so it doesn't even arise this matter in this form we don't even control for instance uh, comrade blade as minister as the communist party is under the the, the, the the accountability framework of the african national congress we only engage with him to the extent of our expectations as as as, as a communist party about his conduct and so forth as as it will be other members in government so that matter doesn't arise at all 20 seconds begum tolo says you're a fake communist ah uh, it doesn't deserve my response to that that is Soli Mapaila, who is the General Secretary of the South African Communist Party. They are paying homage to their fallen struggle stalwart, Tito Mboweni, and also speaking on issues pertaining to the government of national unity, saying that they would have not honoured a meeting where the ANC would have later gone to celebrate the GNU. All right, Samkele Maseko, thanks as always, helping us cover all our bases insofar as that story and several others are concerned. Samkele reporting live there from Kilani in Johannesburg.